Now Moses goes on and he, and he tells us this in the next few verses, that abiding, abiding is about trusting. So if we're going to abide, if we're going to rest, the only way you're going to abide and the only way you're going to rest is if you trust. If you don't trust, you'll never abide and you'll never rest. So if you, if you find yourself never pulling away, guess what? It's probably because you don't really trust God. But when we pull away to be with God, when we abide and we rest, it means that we're trusting in God. And Moses trusted fully in God. Look what he says in verse 2. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust him, for he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. I think what happens though so many times right now is that people are, instead of trusting in God, they're trusting in their natural abilities. We talked about that just a moment. They're, they're this idea that I'm just going to build a bigger and better boat. That's how I'm going to overcome that second wave. I'm going to, I'm going to lean more into my wisdom. I'm going to lean more into my creativity. I'm going to lean more into my resources and my insight, and my intellect, and, and on and on and on, my natural abilities. And I think right now what is happening is people's boats are sinking, and they're taking on water, and people are being overwhelmed, and they don't know what to do because it's crashing in on them. But here's the good news. Write this down. When I trust God, he puts his super on my natural. When I trust God, he puts his super on my natural. And here's what happens. When you abide, when you draw into God and you begin to trust him for wisdom, guess what happens? You start climbing the mountain. When you trust him for insight, he puts his super on your natural. When you trust him for supernatural creativity, you start climbing the mountain. When you trust him for supernatural resources, guess what happens? You start climbing the mountain. And when you climb up on the mountain, guess what happens? That second wave, it cannot touch you because you are abiding in Christ. You're abiding in God. And like Moses says, he becomes your refuge. He becomes your shelter. He becomes your place of safety. He will rescue you from the trap. He will cover you with his feathers. He, he will place you and shelter you under his wings. Hope for the heart is found as we abide in the Almighty.